basically what I said is if um if you have a as a black man or he's either a black woman have a bad experience with someone of your same persuasion or same race I don't think it's fair that you go out there and try to bash everybody you bash you you you've laid a blame where where it belongs not on the whole group because what you're doing when you do that you do the things that everybody else do to the black race when a black man go out there and kill another black man guess what they call all us killers they said we all killers when a black man go out there and steal something oh they all thieves for black men walking mcdonald's and stink oh they all stink so i believe that the blame should be laid the blame should lay where where it should where, where it should be that um if you are tired of black women or if you are tired of black men then you know you go and do whatever but don't try to um make all of us follow you because you have a bad experience because my experience ain't bad that's what I, that's the gist of what i what i was talking with bad gemini about you lost me at black i don't want to die Uh, what the fuck? I just, I just, I just left the conversation at that point. Like, I don't understand what you mean. What you mean? I left you block your black. You don't like black women, my man. <laughs> You know, um, I don't, I don't have that loyalty to blackness that other people have, right? I'm drawn to who I'm drawn to, and uh, I, I've, I, ma- I married a woman that that that's a person of color, and you know, uh, m- most of the women that I take interest in are persons of color. But this whole black thing, man, like I think we've, been, I think we've been sold blackness. Um, and I don't have a buy into it. So like when you go to talking about black this, black that, you lose me. I mean, we, we put we put the prefix black on everything and it bothers it bothers the hell out of me. Black excellence, right? Uh uh black black church, right? And so like you talking about you talking about the church, you're talking about the house of the Lord, and you gotta put the prefix oh, black on oh it. Right? You're talking about excellence, you're talking about somebody who's put in the work, who's you know, uh, who's who's operated with grit, determination, self-resolve, you know, and and their blackness gets rewarded as opposed to that, as opposed to their efforts being acknowledged. Like it took a lot of effort in order for them to create that. They didn't create it because they were black. You know, they created it because they operate, they operated in, in, in a different habitual way of being that produced a particular outcome. The church the church didn't grow to become what it is because it was the black church. The church did did that because it was the church of God. So when you go to talking about all this black stuff, man, I, I'm just going to be honest. I get, it's missed on me. I'm attracted to who I'm attracted to. And if it's a woman of color, great. Um, that is what I'm drawn to uh, largely. But I don't dismiss or discount anybody else. But, you know, you go to talking this black stuff, bro. And, and you lose me, like. I, but I should, that's I should, that's I not know. what I was. Black and black, was, black and black. <laughs> but that's not what I was talking about. That's totally not what I was talking about. Well, I'm, I was, I'm, I was coming, about I'm coming in. Stuff. I'm coming in. I'm coming in late to the conversation. So please expand and expound because okay. where you started, that's what took me down the vein that, that I went down. So if I you want you. to expand and expound, I can. I can come back and I can. You know, I can rebuff or I can co-sign or whatever that looks like. But. But help, I got you. But help me to speak intelligently on, on where you're coming from. Okay. So what I'm saying is whenever we get into these um, topics where they're talking about, um, like, just say, for example, the, the topic what we're speaking about tonight, about um, the question is, should black men leave, to ha- should high-value black men leave the black women and the black culture? Should high-value so, black men... So, so my so to answer so to answer your question, I'm gonna read this comment by Sir Ism. He said, "Get you a snow, and she will increase your credit score." <laughs> the 
What the fuck? Ha ha, very funny, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stupid. You know that? Boy, hey, that's, what, that's, what, that's what you're here for, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all crazy. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to say. <clears throat> let, let Mr. T finish. Oh, God. Go ahead, Mr. T. <laughs> man, I'm good, man. Go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Y'all got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm good. Go ahead, Mr. Light. Man, I had to mute my microphone. Boy, I was over coughing. Oh, man. I don't even know where I was going to go now. <laughs> All right. I got to show that coming. I got to show that coming again. <laughs> Get you a snow so that she can increase your credit score. <laughs> That skull just killed me, man. I'm just dead off of that skull. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, before we get into the real first topic of tonight, I want to say, I think we're getting to a point now to where race doesn't matter. And it's unfortunate. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But it's unfortunate at the same time because I, I could see a lot of things being pulled back on us because of if we look at 5149 where we're talking about all the manonomics going on they could enact laws and bills and such to actually revert and roll back certain things that's kind of what we're hearing right now from the political realm but I think it's black people that have advanced themselves I'm not going to say it's their fault I'm going to say if if we don't continue to advance ourselves and continue to move forward, is that we're going to get lumped in with everybody else. We're going to be that crab at the top of the barrel that get pulled back down inside the barrel. So even though I'm torn on this topic, because you all know me, I'm down for my I'm down for my dogs, I'm down for my bros, bros, I'm I'm down for us, but I'm at a point right now in my personal life, in my financial life, in my friendship life to where I actually have to start thinking the same way. And it's been eye opening and jaw dropping because if you try to cling on to people who don't want to move forward in advance, it just drags you down. It becomes the big, it becomes this big giant albatross on your neck. And then don't let the sailors throw you in the, throw you off the boat because you will sink and drown with a thing around your neck. I think that's where we are at right now is where the people who are trying to do something got to do it and move on. We can no longer look back and try to continue with the people who don't want to move on. The people who don't want to move on, we got to treat them like the same albatross, cut it from around our neck and throw it inside the ocean and let them drown. We can no longer continue to go down this road. So I kind of lean on the side of C.B. Smith. I think we already already knew this, that me and him kind of parallel when it comes to thinking, when it definitely, when it comes to things like this right here. Black people... 5149 by and large are niggardly and shiftless. <laughs> Every time I hear it, it never gets old to me with this niggardly. Like, Samuel, you went to Samuel Jackson class, but continue. <laughs> no, let's be honest. We are niggardly, which means that we are lazy and we are shiftless, which means yeah. that we are not in. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. We're not lazy. You, you I, said, by large, I said by and large, I said by and large, 5149. 5149. Uh, all right. 